Hey, uh, people. I found a, a, another lady auditor. I use the term lady very uh, loosely. But, uh, yeah, she got uh, arrested or detained for for filming outside of a courthouse, lurking in the bushes two hours before they were open. She was detained, and uh, they found out who she was and all that, and then they cut her loose. And she filed a lawsuit against it, and here she's explaining why she lost that lawsuit. They threw the lawsuit out. But she's going to appeal it, damn it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty dumb. She's a First Amendment auditor. She fixates on... Uh, courthouses and military installations that's her thing she's a big deal okay let's watch it hey ma'am you know this is a public building exactly that's why i'm recording okay. it it's also a court facility yep which there is a judicial law or judicial order that says that you cannot tape this building can i see that order Yes, come on in. I'll, we're going to check your IDs, too. Oh, no, I'm not going in. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. We're going to run you, too. No, that's we're all right. We're going to get your name. We're going to do a report and everything. So come on in. Um, right. No. No, yeah, you're going to come in now. Am I being detained? Yes. For what? Because right now we, you are doing something suspicious. That's not a reason to detain anybody. Well, it is for Dana. Come on. It's really not. Let's go so inside I'm just going to stay here and continue recording. Okay. You're going to come in, and we're going to find out who you are and what you're doing here. No, you're not. Okay. She's getting it all wrong. She is going to go in. She actually called this video, Crusty Lieutenant Violates My Rights and Gets Away With It. Yep, that's what she called it. All right, who's got cuffs? She does not want to go agreeably. Okay. I'm being detained for just taking pictures of the building. Yes, ma'am. You're doing something suspicious, and we need to know who you are and why you're doing it. Okay. Are you familiar with the First Amendment? Yes. I am. Really? Put Let's your hands go in. Come on. Wow. I tried to do this nicely. You are aware of Homeland Security, right? Yep, she actually got a very good attorney. He was so good that they threw the case out. They said, no, no, your lawsuit sucks. Anyway, yeah, she paid a guy to, uh, to bring this lawsuit, and they lost. Excellent work. Excellent. That was great. Uh, Jesus Christ. And the video that you just watched, I'm actually the woman that was behind the camera on that. Now that happened March 18th, 2018, and I wanted to give you all an update on what was going on. Um, so shortly after that, I filed a federal lawsuit in uh, the fifth, with the Fifth Circuit which is you know where Cook County is located. And it's been going on for three years. My attorney, um, who's a fantastic attorney by the way, um, he filed a motion for um, decision basically. And what they decided is they were going to drop the case. And they made a statement saying why they decided to drop the case. So uh, listen to this now, if y'all think, okay, you saw the video, right? Y'all just saw the video. All right, this is what they said, okay? Um, this is this is the judge's decision. He said in Katie versus Sheehan the Seventh Circuit held that an officer was entitled to conduct a Terry stop in, of an individual who is quote lurking amongst the bushes outside a courthouse two hours before it opens is shabbily dressed carrying a briefcase claims to be a federal process server refuses to provide identification upon request and is evasive in response to police questioning. And then it says um, 467, 4-3D, uh, um, 1057, 1062-7th um, Circuit, 2006. Okay, I'll go ahead, I'm gonna copy and paste this. I'm gonna put this on my page. It'll also be on my Facebook page as well. Well, I'm pretty impressed. If I ever wanna know how to throw money at a lawyer for no good reason and then get my case thrown out of court, uh, I'm going to start following this gal here. How to waste money and uh, be an idiot. Anyway, uh, let's finish watching this. This whole thing is about her explaining why she lost. She called the judge corrupt and biased and all that, of course. Of course, he probably was, you know. Who knows? Anyway, let's finish. As the court reasoned, a question, uh, a reasonable, prudent officer would be concerned for the safety of the officers and civilians in the area, as well as for the stopped individual. ID here. As in Katie, a reasonable, prudent 
officer in officer Barbero's position, which was the officer who first approached me uh, when he opened the door. Uh, be concerned about the well-being of officers, jurors, witnesses, victims, and judicial employees after seeing plaintiffs, plaintiff, excuse me, videotaping the courthouse and refusing to answer basic questions, especially whereas here reasonable cause exists, reasonable cause existed to believe plaintiff captured footage of the court entrance and the inside of the courthouse, including the security post itself. If you're thinking to yourself, this gal just doesn't get it. She just doesn't understand what's going on here. You would be right. She doesn't have a clue. She does not have a clue. She's got like 57,000 followers on uh, on YouTube. Unbelievable. Her, her videos don't get any more watch time than mine do or many more views on mine. So uh, I don't know what she's accomplishing here. Anyway. So that's what it says. That's the judge's decision. So, Yeah. Um, you tell me what you think. The good news, however, is that we are filing an appeal. So, um, yeah, my, my, my lawyer said he, he feels very strongly about that. He's definitely looking forward to doing this appeal. And I'm certainly looking forward to sharing how that goes with you because this is what it's all about. This oh, good Lord. That's funny. That is hysterical. She's going to hire the same guy to do the appeal. The guy that just lost her case in court. She's going to pay him again. To, to lose it again, get it thrown out again. It's absolutely ludicrous. Anyway, wow, she's a smart one. This is why I do what I do. Um, it's important to me to go through this process with you and share all the information because, you know, it's not just about, you know, recording police and government officials and things like that. Like, there's usually a whole process, and we want to see how, how the judicial system works. And hopefully justice is served here. Um, what you didn't see in this video, we have body cam footage of, is when they took me in the back, uh, they threatened me with jail time if I didn't ID, they emptied out my purse, they um, told me I was going to be in the Cook County Jail for 90 days for not providing ID, like they were really going hard and I just, I, I kept quiet the whole time. Unfortunately, I can't release those videos at this time because we're doing the appeal. Newsflash, it's three years later and she still hasn't released those, uh, those video she has of them uh, asking for ID and trying to find out who she is, you know, like, because that's illegal to try to find out who you are when you're committing suspicious activity. Uh-huh, okay, yeah, real smart. But I can release the decision, which is what I'm doing here. Uh, we also have depositions, and we've got a lot of information over the past few years. I am dying to share it with you. So um, eventually, when this case is all over with and the appeals are, are done, uh, I will share those with you. Uh, but until then, I have to be kind of tight-lipped about that. But I just wanted to share with you what was going on. Um, am I discouraged? No, not at all. Um, in fact, I'm going to go harder. And it makes me want to go back out to Chicago and back out to the Cook County area. So, um, so yeah, so that's one of the reasons I've been kind of chill lately with my audits. Um, I wanted to sort of keep a low profile for what's been going on here. But obviously, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. So... I'm going to be working hard, doing my thing as much as I can. I wish I could do it more full time. Um, but, you know, I have kids and stuff like that. So, How did I know she had kids? She, she leaves her kids at home while she, at least she leaves her kids home when she goes out and does her First Amendment auditors to protect your rights and my rights and her rights. Uh, yeah, she spends money on, on uh, lawyers that lose cases. And uh, she wishes she could do more of it, but she can't because... You know, reasons. Oh, man. Come on now. Oh, and other responsibilities. Anyways, uh, thank you so much for rocking with me. I appreciate you. Uh, please make sure, if you haven't already, to like and subscribe. It certainly helps out a lot. Um, I'm looking forward to putting out a bunch of content for you. You can also follow me on TikTok. You can follow me on Facebook and see a lot of my videos. And I'm going to put a lot of the like this, this type of information on Facebook. So you can see a lot of it there. Um, anyways, if you want to reach out to me, please um, email me at it's that magic you crave at Go message me through Facebook as well. So go ahead and find me on social media. I'm going to link everything in the description. Um, but until I get the next update, y'all, thank you so much. Yeah, she's right on top of these lawsuits, you know. Maybe that money she spent on that lawyer, and she's going to spend more money on him. Uh, would be better spent uh, maybe providing for her kids, feeding her family. I don't know. That's just a thought. But anyway, I cut out about 10 minutes of her begging for money. Uh, 
to support her lawsuits and, and her whatever it is she's doing, her freedom fighting. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Bye.